Hello everybody, we are back as promised. Welcome to Real Talk. Um, I am uh, just a couple hours removed from watching Captain Marvel and it's a very interesting and very frustrating experience for me. Um, first off, as a film fan, as a definitely a Marvel fan, you know, I've been enjoying all these movies over the past 11 years. Uh, I own just basically every one of them on either DVD or Blu-ray. And this was a unique experience going into a movie because I was not... This was probably the least amount I was looking forward to a Marvel movie ever. And I usually... I basically plan my calendar about around these things. Um... In fact, when Captain Marvel was first announced that they were doing the thing with Karen with Carol Danvers, I was very excited to see that, you know. And I was really online with what they were, you know, wanted to go with this. Unfortunately, the story of this movie, because of the marketing, because of all the ancillary bullshit surrounding this, this movie I mean, surprisingly, here's what I have to say about Captain Marvel. I really like this movie. It was basically um, the same formula it uses for the others. You no, know, it was Doctor Strange. It was Guardi not Guardians of the Galaxy, but Ant-Man. It was an enjoyable movie. A good fun time. However, the idiotic nonsense spouted by Brie Larson... All the stupid shill media sites and this and the um, bafflingly stupid moves by Rotten Tomatoes with the way they were trying to manipulate the perception of the audience scores and all the anticipation surrounding it. All this crap surrounding the movie has, you know, when you're supposed to do PR, when you're supposed to promote the film, instead of promoting a film, they decided to provoke their audience. And they have set standards for this movie that are almost impossible to get. get. Sorry. This was supposed to be like another Black Panther or another Infinity War. But it wasn't quite lightning in that bottle. It was just a pretty good film in my opinion. I liked it. I enjoyed it. Had some chuckles at times. There, there was a bit of girl power. In fact, that's one thing me and my boy were joking out when we were, when we were watching it. You know, the previews... All the commercials and all the marketing around it, it was heavy on the girl power going into the film. But, you know, it's, it wasn't as bad as what they said it was. You know, it's not as bad as what a lot of, you know, the YouTube channels I follow. It wasn't the horrible dis social justice disaster that everyone says it is. And it definitely isn't God's gift to movie, you know, to cinema. It was just basically a standard Marvel movie. I enjoyed it, and I'm hugely frustrated at what Marvel and Disney allowed this to become, the cause they turned this into, and uh, how this just counteracted everything they tried to do. They tried to get on Wonder Woman, and, you know, they probably could have had that if they would have kept their mouths shut. But anyway... As I was saying, I enjoyed the movie. The cat was pretty good. I mean, wasn't exactly the show still everyone said it was, but you know, that it was a pretty cool thing with the cat. I like the cat. Um, as everyone was saying, Ben Mendelsohn did a great job. Uh, the twist that they had with the uh, sides of the war. I'm going to avoid saying spoilers as much. You know, not, I'm going to avoid saying spoilers. There might be some spoiler shit that I say because I just do one take. But um, the way it turned out, the twist at the end, you know, wasn't the most earned thing in the world, but wasn't egregious. I liked it. And um, let me see what else, what else, what else, what else, what else. There were some, also some funny moments, especially at the end. It has that little Indiana Jones moment. 
this uh, little anti little shut up Hannibal thing going with uh, the final confrontation between the two, uh, between Captain Marvel and her nemesis, whoever that turned out to be. But let's see. All in all, I had a good time. You know, had some laughs. You know. Especially, uh, yeah, I forgot to mention a uh, very touching Stanley tribute and cameo in the movie. It was good to see the man again. And, um, but the problem is, now I don't know where we go from here. It's hard for to look forward to another Captain Marvel film because they they made it such they made Brie Larson has made such an ass out of herself that you know they. She may have created a mountain that this film couldn't climb over. But, but that's mostly, it's just the marketing and everything around it just basically just covered a a decent, pretty good film in my opinion. I encourage you to watch it, you know, then just at least have an opinion for yourself. I think it's worth the time. So, Captain Marvel, I personally give it a thumbs up. But a huge thumbs down to all the marketing and all the bullshit surrounding it. <laughs> I'll probably uh, I'll probably come back with maybe some more thoughts on it when I get you know some rest and some time to think about it. I'll probably catch it another time too. But yeah, I enjoyed the movie. I think you will too. Just try to try to block out the noise and make good times be had by all.